this probably isn't new information to any of you guys that are like young and play video games and whatnot, but uh, I, I just kind of stumbled upon this new uh, THPS HD, THP, yeah, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, high definition, and uh, I hadn't seen anything on it until just now, but apparently uh, they're re, I guess it's not really a re-release, it's it's a game based on the original levels from uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 in high definition or near high definition quality and it's going to be re-released on the uh, obviously the newer game systems PS3, Xbox 360 and I, I have an Xbox 360 but uh, I rarely play it because I just don't have time so I don't play online uh, a lot of people are saying that it's not going to work because you know skate the skate series is so much better and, and I agree the skate series is a lot better I did play them all and uh, they're definitely better games. They're more realistic. They're entertaining for skateboarders. But I, I think you forget about the nostalgia market sometimes. There's going to be people like me that grew up playing these games. Like, the first Tony Hawk Pro Skater game might actually be the reason that I skateboard today. I got it for Christmas when it first came out. Or maybe it was... I think it was Christmas. I think it was, like, after Christmas, we went to Florida to visit my aunt, and she had gotten it for us. But uh, I just, I remember opening up the box and I see that blue cartridge and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I used to be a Nintendo guy back in the day. That's why I uh, I don't necessarily subscribe to the whole PS3 is better theory that I'm not going to get into a console war. But I wasn't going to jump from Nintendo 64 to Wii. And I prefer the feel of the Xbox 360 controller. So I went that route. But anyways, not important. That game sparked my interest in skateboarding and it. It led to me getting my first skateboard, and it led to me pursuing it further. And as corny as that sounds, and as weird as it is, I bet you there's a lot of people out there that are 21, 22 years old, you know, give or take five years probably, that uh, started skateboarding for the same whack reason. I mean, <laughs> I'll admit, it's pretty lame. It's a, it's a little weird. That's such, I mean, it, it's not a bad game. It was a, I would say it was a really good game for its time, but now you look back on it, you're like, you push square in a direction to do a kickflip? Like, that's weak. <laughs> I get it wasn't even square. I said square because the last time I played the Tony Hawk games, it was actually on PlayStation. I think it was uh, American Wasteland was probably the last one I played. Or, yeah, I didn't really play Proving Ground. I think that came out afterwards. I, I Really, I didn't, after Tony Hawk Underground 2, I didn't really keep up with them that much. I think American Wasteland was the last one I played personally, but uh, it, it's kind of cool because this new game is going to have some of the old characters, but it's also going to have new characters because they have to have the new characters. I mean, if you think about it, some of the people that were popular in that game aren't even involved in skateboarding anymore or they're super old <laughs> uh, or just not popular with younger skaters or, you know, there's younger skaters that are definitely more popular and it's a new game. They're re-releasing it, so why wouldn't they? Uh, there, there seems to be not some issues with the soundtrack, per se, but uh, uh, they're not going to have the original soundtrack, possibly. I mean, they could, but they have to redo all those licensing deals because they're only good for that, well, those two games, because the game is based on the levels from Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2, not just one of them. And they made it sound like it was going to have a storyline of some sort to me. And it might not. It might just be, you know, a checklist of, of events. But considering the game came out when I was like 9 or 10 years old, there is there is definitely a nostalgic feel to Like, I watched the trailer. There's a trailer, and I'll, I'll post a link to it, obviously. I already posted it on my Facebook, and it's getting a little bit of love over there. But uh, I saw that the first, the warehouse level, I saw it, and I, I recognized it immediately. I was like, a decade ago, I was playing this game. You know, the last time I played it was at least a good seven years ago. But I could still tell you where every single thing in that entire level was. Every piece. And that's, that's depressing, but it's a huge part of uh, my youth. And... No, it's just it's cool to me to see. And I'm kind of curious as to whether you guys are just as stoked on this as I am because I'm I'm kind of losing my freaking mind. And it I don't think it's going to come out in hard copy. I think it's just going to be a downloadable game. Like you go to the Xbox Live Marketplace or 
uh, whatever the PlayStation one's called, <laughs> and and you pay for the game, or yeah, I would assume you pay for the game. I doubt they're just going to give it away. I mean, you know, maybe they'll do hard copies, but the way it read was that it was going to be downloadable content. So we'll see what happens. I'm interested in it. I'm pretty stoked on it. I'll probably spend a couple of bucks and get it. Maybe you guys aren't as stoked as I am. But uh, they did say that if this one... I who said it? I think it was on Tony Hawk's Twitter or something like that. He said that uh, if it does well, they're willing to do more of them. They just have to... They're testing the waters with this game because Tony Hawk Ride kind of really flopped. Uh... Somebody bought me that for Christmas, and I tried to play it, but it was right after I broke my femur, so I was kind of, I was, my balance was crap to begin with, and it was super hard to calibrate. Like, I'm not going to move all of my furniture so I can play a damn video game, you know? Whatever. It happened, it's in the past, and now it's coming back, and I love it, and I want to play it, and I have no idea when it's coming. But, uh, go check out the trailer.